Okay, so these are my um, Solenopsis, Solenopsis molesta. And you can see they're really tiny. I'm going to try and put my hand in here. You can kind of get an idea how itty bitty they are. I would say if you like took a pen and drew a dot, the dot would probably be bigger than them. But um, I'm going to zoom down and you can kind of get a better look. Get a really close zoom with this camera. Uh, the queen is here somewhere. Um, actually, I think she ran off and decided to hide under the test tube somewhere over here. Um, let me see if I can find her. Yeah, she's hiding under here. But, uh, oh well. Um, you can see they have a pretty big pile of brood. I don't know, I guess right now it's spread out about the size of my thumbnail almost. Um, these aren't all the ants, all the workers, I mean. I still have some more in a different container. I just moved these in here um, because their other one was really dirty. Um, and they're so tiny that it's almost impossible to move them by hand manually. So I have to just kind of wait until they go into a test tube I have in there and then just little by little I dump them over here into this one. Let me uh, try and see how close I can get. Yeah, that's about as close as I can zoom it. Let me go down closer. There we go. And they move kind of slow. Um, they're not very fast ants, and even though they're a fire ant, they're just so itty bitty that I've never actually felt a sting from them or anything. And let's go over here. See, they just kind of cruise real slow. They're not shy. They don't really run away when you open their container or do anything. I mostly feed them mealworms, um, they like honey, um, they love chicken, I give them a lot of chicken. Just pretty much table scraps, they go for it all. Um, there you go, and this container is like 6 inches uh, by 4 or something like that, that would be my guess. Anyways, one last look uh, at these guys. And, um, well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys around. Bye.